Hi, I thought I'd show you my art studio. You may or may not know that I'm a watercolor artist. Uh, it's something that fascinates me and I've done some videos on it. It's the quality of not being able to control the water that fascinates me. I'm about the water and dropping stuff into it. So here's my studio. It's right off my kitchen, right next to my den. You can see I've got three easels working at the same time. A watercolor easel is very different from a regular easel because it goes up and down. Why does it go up and down? Because the water moves. So you want to be able to move it around and you want it to stay put sometimes. And then I have stable easels that just sit things and I make decisions constantly about what I want to work on. You can see that I have a space where I've pinned all these pieces that I'm working on. And you can also see everything on my walls is my own artwork. Now, how about you? It's not about artwork. It's about, do you have space everywhere that you want space that will help you do whatever the heck you want to do. Do you feel that when you come home, you just feel tired and you want to just eat or watch TV? Or do you feel that there's a space that contributes to your feminine energy, intuition, and your natural creative source to just kind of create a moment for yourself? I've never been interested in cooking, but I am learning how, and I have a, a very kind of limited diet, so I never felt creative about it. Well, I'm rethinking that. I'm gonna be creative. I can be creative about everything, including food. Even though I have these mental ideas about it that it's not something I wanna do. You know, where did I make that up? So I am going to see how much of the time that I spend making food feels actually like me and makes me feel good the way I feel when I'm painting. And a really interesting thing, I'll take you back to the studio, is when I paint, the first thing that comes to me is I'm wasting time. This is not productive. When I read a book, I feel, why am I reading a book if it's a you know, a silly story, a sci-fi thing, not a great book, but I really enjoy the characters, then I, I search for meaning for it on some level. You know, why I like strong feminine heroines, right? But come on, I don't even need that excuse. And you don't need an excuse for anything. I want you to do what you like, and I want you to create space for yourself to do that. So go around your house and see, do you have what you need to cook with? Do you have what you need to be creative with? If you don't, go get yourself some colored pencils and some paper and, and have some fun with that or collages and glue things. If it's animals that you love, hang out in, in shelters and, and see how it feels to you. If it's too upsetting, or if it feels like you can be creative and you can actually be useful. There are so many levels of how you can express yourself and how you can feel good at every moment. And of course, this is what changes your energy into your feminine energy that will attract the man you want. Not just any man, but the man you want. We're just realigning ourselves to actually be ourselves.